So again, good morning everyone. So this is our fifth week ng ating pong online class, uh, online kamustahan. So last week, uh, I asked you to answer a summative activity. So hopefully, naipasa nyo na po lahat. This is ano, this this is a, con a continuation of the lesson for for sequences. Okay, po, for sequences. Um, this will be the last one for the sequences. Okay, po. So let's start. So we will be having now what we call series. Okay po. So, this thumbs up kung nakikita po yung screen ko. Nakikita po ba yung screen? Okay po. Very good. So, series. So, what is what are series? When we talk about series, series is the sum of terms in a given sequence. So, regardless of what kind of sequence that we have um series when we talk about series it is the sum of every term so uh, i-add natin yung mga bawat term na given sa isang sequence for now we'll be having two types of series okay po we have arithmetic series and geometric series please don't be confused uh, about sequence and series ha? again when we talk about sequence it's just the the sequential yung pagka sunod, -sunod na number given as special common difference or a common ratio. Pero ang geometric series govern the sequence kasi kailangan niya ng sequence in order to answer the series. Kasi kailangan natin i-add ang uh, mga uh, kailangan natin i-add ang uh, mga terms na nandoon. So we'll be starting with the first one which is the arithmetic series. Okay po. So when you talk about arithmetic series, definitely it is the sum of arithmetic sequence. Okay po. Bigay lang tayo example. If we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, technically it's an arithmetic sequence kasi we have the common difference of 1. Kasi 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5. So it is a common, it is arithmetic sequence. Pero Ano natin ha? Ah, sulat natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is an arithmetic sequence. Kasi may common difference sila na 1. Positive 1. So plus 1, 2 plus 1, plus 3, plus 1, 4, plus 1, 5. So this is a, this is a clear arithmetic sequence. Pero when we talk about arithmetic series, it is the sum of arithmetic sequence. So, ibig sabihin, it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So, kapag in natin yan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that's 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 10 plus 5, 15. So, our S5, please take note of this, our S sub 5 is 15. Please take note of the symbol. It's S, not A. Kapag A ang given, A sub N, ibig sabihin, we are looking for the last term. Pero kapag ang S ang given, ibig sabihin, we are looking for the sum up to the last term. Okay? So, so we'll be using this formula, which is S sub N is equals to N over 2 times 2 times, times the quantity 2, 2 times A sub 1, which is the first term, plus the quantity N minus 1 times D. Kung mapansin nyo, itong part na ito, ay nanggaling sa arithmetic sequence. Okay? Yung a plus 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Nanggaling po yan sa arithmetic sequence. Pero nadagdagan lang siya ng 2 at n over 2 sa unahan. So let's try to solve this gamit itong kung magkakapareho ba tayo kung magkakapareho ba tayo kung isosolve natin using the formula. 
Okay, please take note of this. We have n as the number of term, a sub 1 as the first time pa rin, a sub n as the last term, alam tayo dito, and d as our common difference. Sn is the sum up to the last term. Sum up to the last term. So let's try to solve. So S sub n, S sub n, which technically, ilang terms na meron tayo? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So S sub 5 yan. So S sub 5 is missing. We have our n as 5. Our d is positive 1. And our a sub 1 as 1. So using the formula, so it will be s sub 5 is equals to, what is n? That is 5 over 2, lagging over 2 yun, eh? times the quantity 2 times 1, which is our a sub 1, plus 5, which is our number of terms, minus 1 times 1 as our common difference. So this is 5 over 2. 5 over 2. So 2 times 1. Unahin natin ang nasa loob ng parenthesis. So that's 2 plus 5 minus 1 is 4 times 1, 4. Okay, 4. So that becomes 5 over 2.
Okay. Okay, ulitin natin. So, um, the difference natin doon ay kakuha natin ang 15, nakuha natin ang 15 in a different way kasi yung una natin ginamit ay lista lang, yung inilista natin which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, inad natin then that becomes 15. In here, we use the formula, we use the formula, kaso nga lang, um, guma, naging yung, by process tayo, nakuha pa rin natin 15. The question is, pwede po bang delista na lang? Yung ililist na, na lang natin, saka natin i-add. Pwede po yun, wala tayong problema doon. Ang magiging, uh, ang negative side lang noon, ay kapag dumating tayo sa punto na marami na tayong ililista, it will take you time rather than using the formula na mabidesign. Okay? So nasa inyo na po yun kung gagamitin yung formula o maglilista kayo, walang problema po doon. Okay? So let's continue. Para po mabigyan kayo ng iba pang idea kung paano gagawin. Let's have another one. Find the sum of the following arithmetic series for 11, 18 up to the 10th term. So for 11, 18 up to the 10th term. The question first is, is this an arithmetic sequence? Can you answer? Ito ba ay arithmetic sequence? Yes po. Bakit? Anong common difference sila? Positive 7. Correct. So hearing that it is a uh, arithmetic sequence, technically, papasok na tayo, pwede, pwede natin gawin yung arithmetic series. Okay? So, isa-isahin natin. So, since we're looking up to the 10th term, so we'll be using, we'll be looking for S10. Again, we are looking for the sum, not the last term. So, S10 equals 0. Then, we have to find the first term per n, which is our 4. N as 10 and definitely, sinabi nga kanina na ang common difference natin ay 7. So, gagamitin natin yung formula. So, let's continue with the formula. So, that becomes S10 is equals to 10 over 2 times 2 times A sub 1, which is 4 plus 10, which is our number of terms, minus 1 times 7. Katulad ng ginawa natin, uunahin natin yung nasa loob. Okay? Uunahin muna natin nasa loob. But ito nandito, kung kaya natin i-divide to, i-divide na natin. Pero kung hindi kaya divide kanina, katulad ng kanina, 5 over 2, panatalihin muna natin siyang fraction. Okay, wag muna kayo magdadecimal. Since 10 divided by 2 can be, so that becomes 5. Kaya na natin yan. Then we have 2 times 4, that will be 8, plus 10 minus 1, that is 9, times 7, 63. Then continue. So 5 times 8 plus 63, that becomes 71. 71. Then 71 times 5, it's 355. 355. So our S sub 10 is 355. It is also the same as, kung ang gagawin nyo ay 4 plus 11 plus 18 plus 25 plus 32 yan, plus 39 plus 46 plus 53 plus 16 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 67. Kapag inad mo rin yan, lahat ng ito, kasi gumawa ka ng arithmetic sequence mo, that will still be 355. Ang magiging problema lang natin dito kapag nagkamali ka ng add, sira na lahat yan. Okay? 
So you can use the formula or you can use the listing method. Walang problema sa atin yan. Any questions so far? Malino na po? Opo. Okay po. Very good. So let's have another one para po clear na clear tayo. Gawin naman natin sa word problem. Yan. Suppose the auditorium of Tagaytay International Convention Center has 20 seats in the first row and that each row has two more seats than the previous row. If there are 30 rows in the auditorium, how many seats are in the last row and how many seats are there in the auditorium? So, ang tanong dito ay dalawa. Ilan daw ang nasa last row at ilan daw ang ang lahat-lahat na uh, dito lahat-lahat na upuan sa loob ng auditorium. So, having the question of how many are in the last row, last row daw yung pinag-uusapan, so it is very clear na we, we are just asking for an arithmetic sequence. Kasi hinahanap lang natin yung last term. Okay? Yung sa pangalawang tanong, how many seats are there in the auditorium? Ibig sabihin, lahat na nasa auditorium. Ibig sabihin, papasok tayo dyan sa arithmetic series. Okay? See the reference? Yung last row is for arithmetic sequence. And yung how many seats are there in the auditorium, since bibilangin natin lahat, that is for arithmetic sequence. So, pasok tayo. Let's try to answer this one. So, let's have two different. So, balik muna tayo sa arithmetic sequence. Ang arithmetic sequence natin is a sub n. Remember, ang ating pong ginagamit ay a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. While for our s sub n, Halos parehas na parehas lang. Kailangan mo lang yung a sub 1, gayahin mo lang, n minus 1 times d. Kaso nga lang, lalagyan mo ito ng 2 dito sa unahin, ilagay mo sa loob ng parenthesis at maglagay ka ng n over 2. Sa labas. Yun. Parehas na parehas lang sila ng formula halos. So, Let's, let's try to answer the first one, the first question. How many seats are in the last row? So, given what is our A sub 1? Anyone who would like to answer? Ilan daw ang nasa? That will be? 20. Correct. That it will be 20. What is our N? 34. That's 30 row. That's correct. So, what is our D? 2 po. Correct. So, ang nawawala natin ay A sub N. So, technically, dahil nasa isang given lang naman sila, ganun din ang gagamitin natin sa habila. A sub 1 is still 20. N equals 30. And D is equals to 2. But this time around, we are just looking for S sub 30. Okay? So let's start with this first. So that is A sub 30. 30 ang ginamit natin. Is equals to 20 plus quantity 30 minus 1 times 2. So that will be 20 plus 29 times 2. So that becomes 20 plus 58, if I am not mistaken. So the last row, which is A sub 30, has 78 seats. Okay? Clear po yun. Yung pinahuling row raw ay 78. Ngayon, ang tanong, kung nagsimula tayo sa 20 sa first row at may 78 sa pinahadulong row, ilang lahat ang meron tayo? So, gamitin natin ang formula ito. So, that will become 
S sub 30 is equals to 30 over 2 plus 2 times 20 plus 30 minus 1 times 2. So, nasagotan na natin yun. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Ito lang, 40. 2 times 20 is 40. Then, nasagotan natin that's 30 minus 1 times 2 is 29. So, that will be 15 times 69. And what is 50 times 69? 15 times 69. 15 times 69 is 1,035 seats. So this is your sum. So sa dulo upuan may 78, pero kung bibilangin natin lahat ng laman ng auditorium, we have 1,000 35 seats. Clear po tayo? Sir, pwede po magtanong? Yes pa. Sir, di ba po yung 30 minus 129? Na i-multiply nyo po ba sa 2? Ah, uh, that's... Uh, sorry, oo nga. Nga po, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, may, may mali nga tayo doon. So, clear ko lang to. Thank you for correcting me. So, delete natin to. Thank you for correcting. So that Happy will become Happy. 29 times 2, 58. Pala, 58. So that becomes 98. Okay, 98. So that's 98 times 15. It's 1,470. 1,476. Okay na po tayo? Question? Nagkaintindihan po. Thank you for correcting and seeing the problem. Okay po. Thumbs up kung nakuha po. Okay. Very good. Okay. So that is arithmetic sequence. As arithmetic sequence and arithmetic series. Okay po. Let's go now with another one, which is geometric series. Geometric series naman ay definitely gagamitin natin sa geometric sequence. Okay? So we have the common ratio. So paano yung nahanap yun? So I'll be showing you three different, um, different kinds of geometric series. May tatlo kasi yun. We have the special geometric series, special cases. We have the normal. And we have the sum to infinity. Okay. Iisa-isahin natin, i-discuss yung tatlo. Okay. Let's start. But this will be our, this will be our ito, general formula, which is S sub N is equals to A sub 1. This is A sub 1, ha? This is A sub 1 times 1 minus Rn over 1 minus R, where A sub 1 is the first term pa rin, n equals the, the, last, the number of term, and R is the common ratio. Walang, walang mababago doon. A sub 1 will always be the first term. Okay? So please copy first the formula. Okay? Okay. So let's start first with the common... Uh, with the special cases. But bakit ko sinabi special cases? Special cases ay kapag ang R natin ay 0, ang R natin ay 1, ang R natin ay negative 1. Paano naging special cases yan? So if we are making um, a special case example, um, kapag sinabi natin R equals 0, kahit, in, kahit ilang pa yan, kunyari, um, e, S sub N is equals to a sub 1. Yan po ang formula niyan. 
a sub n equals a equals a sub 1. Bakit po? If r natin ay 0, example, we started with 3. 3 times 0, 0. Times 0, 0. Times 0, 0. Hanggang dulo, 0 na yan. So kapag tinanong kayo, kahit sabihin pa natin na what is s sub dot dot dot, what is s sub 100, all you have to do is s sub 100 is equals to 3. Which is your first term. Kasi wala naman eh. Walang susunod na term. Puro zero na yung susunod na term. If the given is, if the common ratio is zero. If this is negative five, what? Zero, zero. What is S of 1,000? What is S of 1,000? Evolve. Negative 5 po. Still, it's negative 5. Gagayahin nyo lang kung ano yung unang number. Kasi lahat yan 0. E, e, ad, diba anything that is added to 0 will equal to itself. Okay? Kaya sa special cases, hindi nyo kailangan mag-isip ng napakarami. Napakatagal. Hindi nyo kailangan gumamit ng formula. Okay? Clear po? Any question for r equals 0? Let's try naman if r equals to 1. If r equals to 1, this will be s sub n. Pakita yung note of phone ng mga special cases na to ha. Is n times a sub 1. Yan naman ang gagawin natin, nat, natin dyan. If s sub n equals, if r equals to 1, nakita mong r equals to 1, your, give, your S sub N will be N times N sub 1. Bakit po? Ano po bang itsura kapag ang ating pong R is equals to 1? So if we started with 2, then this will be 2, 2, 2. Pare-pareho lang. So ibig sabihin, if hinanap sa atin ang S sub 100, in order to find for that, that will be S sub 100 is equals to, what is your first term? 2, two. times 100 equals 200. Kasi meron ka lang da, isang daang 2. So that's 200. If this is 5, 5, 5, what is S sub 20? 100. 100, correct. So that is S sub 20 is equals to 5 times 20 is equals to 100. Kasi pare-parehas lang sila. Okay? Question? The question po tayo sa R equals 0 at R equals 1. Anyone? People? Wala po, sir. Okay po. Ngayon, nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang R equals neg negative 1 natin ay nagkaroon ng dalawang um, sitwasyon. Add terms at even terms. Pag sinabi natin odds, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, kapag even, 2, 4, 6, 8. Bakit po? If R equals odd, R S sub N is equals to A sub 1. If R equals even, this is equals to zero. Bakit po? Let's have an example. Ano po ba itsura kapag ang R equals negative 1? If you start it with 2, the next one is negative 2. Then 2, then negative 2. Kung 3 yan, 3, negative 3, then 3, negative 3. Same number pero nagbabago-bago ang sign. Yan ang indication that R equals negative 1. Kaso nga lang, anong, anong special kapag R equals even? Ibig sabihin, kunwari, S sub 11. If S sub 11 ang meron tayo, ibig sabihin may labing isa tayong negative 2. Kung papansin natin, that's 2, negative 2, 
two, negative two, two, negative two. Then we have two, negative two. Lanayan, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, negative two. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Diba 2 plus negative 2, diba yan ay 0? 0 kapag inad mo. 0, 0, at 0. Sino natira? Si 2. Sino si 2? Si A sub 1. Even. Si 2 ay si A sub 1. So, ibig sabihin, your S sub 11 is equals to 2. As simple as that. Let's have another one. Negative 3, 3, negative 3, up to S sub 23. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-isip dahil kung mapansin nyo, R equals negative 1, 23 is odd. We have odd number as our number of term. So S23 is simply negative 3. Pero kung given naman natin dito ay 3 negative 3, 3 negative 3 up to S sub 10. Ibig sabihin may mga partner na agad sila. Just sabihin mo na agad na S sub 10 is equals to 0. Wala ka na yung so-solve. Kasi magkakapartner sila at ang magkapartner na positive at isang negative equals 0 kapag inad natin. 3 negative 3, 0 yon. 3 negative 3, 0 ulit yun. 3 negative 3, 0 ulit yun. 3 negative 3, 0 ulit yun. At 3 negative 3, 0 ulit yun. So, wala natira. So, S sub 10 is equal to 0. So, please take note of this formula. Okay? Yan ang magpapadali ng inyong buhay. Ha? So, hindi nyo kailangan mag-compute. Ah... Uh, uh, Ang isipin nyo lang, ano ba ilalagay ko? Ito ba ay 0? Ito ba ilalagay ko as a sub 1 lang? Or n times a sub 1? Depende kung ano ang r nating given. Clear po tayo? Question. Okay na po? Apo. Okay po. So let's go now with the normal case. The normal case natin. So, for our normal case, find the sum of the following geometric series, 2, 6, 18, up to the fifth term. So, check muna natin, is this really uh, a geometric term? Geometric term, uh, geometric series ba yan? A uh, sequence ba yan? Yes. Opo. What is a common ratio if that's the case? Po. Okay po. So, it's confirmed that it is an arithmetic se sequence, a geometric sequence at uh, ang common ratio natin ay 3. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na tayo maghanap. S sub 5 is equal, is missing. We have A sub 1 as 2. Number of term is 5. And our R is 3. So, gamitin natin. So, that's S sub 5 is equals to A sub 1. This is your A sub 1. That is 2 times 1 minus 3 raised to 5 over 1 minus 3. Yan lang po. So, that will be 2 times 1 minus, what is R raised to 5? R, 3 raised to 5. That's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that is 243. Right, 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81 times 3, 243. Over negative Kasi 1 minus 3, negative 2. So that will be 2 times 
1 minus 3 is negative 242. Wait. Negative 242 over, over negative, two. negative 2. So, that's two. negative 242 times 2. 240. Two, 242 times 2. Times that's, two, ito, ito, times muna natin yung nasa taas. That's 484. 484. 484. Negative 484. Tandaan, negative siya. Negative, negative. Over negative 2. So, negative 484 divided by negative 2. Positive 242. That's positive 242. So, that is our S sub 5. Okay. Clear? So that's the formula. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's have another one. Yeah. Find the sum of the terms of geometric sequence where the first term is 4, the last term is 324, and the common ratio is 3. Okay. So the problem in here, given ang first term, given ang last term, given a common a common ratio, ano nawawala? Na kailangan natin. First term. May first term tayo, which is four. Ano pa? Sum of the. Uh, terms of geometric sequence. Po. Apo, yun po nawawalang original. Pero di ba may hinahan, may mga parte yun, may parte tayo, may parte tayo dun sa formula, which is, anong formula natin? Balikan natin ang formula natin. That is S sub N is equals to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to N over 1 minus R. Meron tayong A sub 1, it's clear. Meron tayong R, which is 3. Ano ang kulang? Sir, number of terms po. Correct. Nawawala ang number of terms natin. So, paano natin nahanapin yon number of terms? Given kasi yung last term natin. So, babalik tayo sa original formula ng ating geometric sequence. What is the formula of our geometric sequence? A sub N is equals to a sub 1 times r minus n minus 1. This is our original formula. Okay? That's our original formula. Inahanap natin ang number of terms na nandito. So, gawin natin yun. So, that's 324 as our last term is equals to our first term is 4 times 3 n minus 1. So, hindi natin pwedeng i-times to kasi kurang ito. So, kung pwede natin gawin ay i-divide ito. 4. 4. So, that is 3 n minus 1. This is 324. 324 divided by 4 is 81. Okay. Para lang magawa natin, change natin yung 384, ang 81 na to sa base of 3. Kailangan maging base of 3 sila pareho. Ano ang pag-change mo ang 81 sa 3? 3 cube po. 3 cube. 3 cube nga ba? 3 raised to 4. Kasi 3 times 3, 9. Times 3, 27. Times 3, 81. So, ibig sabihin, that's 3 raised to 4. Chinage ko lang itong 81 into into ito? exponential form. Yan ang tawag doon, exponential form. So, dahil pareho na sila ng base, pwede ko na itong resolve. So that is 4 is equals to n minus 1. 
So, n is equals to 5. Inilipat ko yung negative 1, magiging plus 1. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Or simply, ilang 3, dito na lang tayo. Alam natin ang base natin ay 3. Ang base natin ay 3, that's 3, that's 81, that's 324. Ilang 3 ang meron sa 384, that's 5. As simple as that. Oh, dinangaya ko 'yo, ilib mo na inaantok. Okay. That's 384 plus 5. So pwede na natin gawin 'yon. Pwede na tayong mag-continue with the formula. So now, alam natin that's s sub 5 S of 5 ang ating hahanapin kasi ang N natin ay 5. So that's S of 5 is equals to 4 times 1 minus 3 raised to 5 over 1 minus 3. So that will equal to 4 times 1 minus 3. What's 3 raised to 5? 3 raised to 5 is 324 over negative 2. So that will be 4 times negative 321 over negative 2. So that becomes 321 Times four. That's negative one hundred one thousand two hundred eighty four over negative two. So our final answer for that is divided by two. That's six hundred forty two. Okay. Clear po tayo? 342. Or kung gusto nyo naman, the easier way is a listing method natin. ba? Diba? 4 times 3, 12. Times 3, 36. Times 3. 36 times 3. That's 108. Times 3, 324. Then, i-add nyo to. 4 plus 12 plus 36 plus 108 plus 324. That is still 642. Yan. Pareho lang. So, kung gagamit kayo ng formula, okay po. Kung gagamit kayo ng listing method, okay po. Wala tayong problema. Thumbs up kung okay po tayo. Sir, so, negative 324, 24 minus 1 po, 321. Negative 321 po. Opo, oh negative 323 pala. Sorry, 323. Sorry, 323. Yun, thank you ulit sa correction. So that's 323 times 4, 292. Clear po natin. Correction natin doon. 292. Two ninety two divided by two is six forty six. Six forty six. Sorry. Six forty six. So this is also six forty six. Tanda tina natin yung dulo kung tatama. Four plus two six plus six twelve plus ba ba two twenty four. Yeah. 292. Question? 323. Question po? Clean na po tayo? Okay. Last one. So the last one will be the sum to infinity. So sum to infinity, this will only happen if your ratio is between negative 1, mas malaki, mas, ma, mas malaki siya sa negative 1, pero mas maliit siya sa 1. Anong ibig sabihin nun? It should be a fraction. A proper fraction, whether it's positive or negative. 
a it is, should be a proper fraction um, whether it's negative or positive pahad po sum to infinity kung mapapansin nyo hinanap hahanapin yung sum pero walang in-specify na na dulo ibig sabihin hanapin mo paano mo hahanapin ang ang sum kung hindi mo alam ang dulo kaya mong gawin yon if the given is like this. Bakit po? Let's have an example. Example, one half. One half. Ang one half, this is one half, ay dagdagan mo ng one, kalahati ng one half, which is one fourth. Ang one fourth, dagdagan mo ng kalahati ng one fourth, ay one eighth. Then, ang 1 8, tagdagan mo ng kalahati ng 1 8, that is 1 16. Ang 1 16 divided, tagdagan mo ng kalahati ng 1 16, 1 32. Kasi kung saan, paliit lang ng paliit siya, pero kaya natin ibigay ang approximate niya. Hindi siya magtutokton talaga sa dulo. Hindi siya lalampas. Na, Nakakontain siya sa isang, sa isang uh, number. Which in this case is 1 half 1. Makikita natin mamaya yan. So, ang, ang tanong lang natin, pwede ba natin siyang gawin? Dito sa una, ano po ang ratio nito? Alamin muna natin yung mga ratio. Kung pwede pa siyang gawin o hindi. Ano ang ratio ng una? 64? 16? Ilan pa? 4. 4. 4 nga ba? 64 times 4, I think it's 200, 256 on. It's 1 fourth. 1 fourth. So, ibig sabihin, since this is a normal common fraction, uh, proper fraction, pwede itong gamitin sa sum to infinity. Itong 1 third, 1 nine, 1 27, 1 81. 1 third. One third. So, one third is a normal. So, ibig sabihin, pwede yun sa sum to infinity. Four, negative four, negative one, negative one fourth, negative one six. What is our common ratio? Positive three po. Positive three? Common ratio? One fourth. One fourth, pwede pa rin. Next, 4, 12, 36, 108. Ready? 3 po. 3. Since 3 is bigger than 1, at hindi siya fraction, hindi ito pwedeng gawin sa, 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 rito, sa, sa infinity. Bakit? Example, 4 plus 12, 16. Plus 36, that's 52. Plus 108, that's 160. Pag tum Tumaas pa yun ang tumaas, hindi mo na alam ang katapusan, hindi mo na alam kung saan siya makakarating kapag inad mo na inad. Wala na ang katapusan, palaki pa ng palaki ang number, hindi na natin kaya yung i-add. Okay? Ito, what is the common difference of this? A common negative. ratio? Negative. Negative 2. Negative 2. Negative 2 is smaller than negative 1. So, ibig sabihin, hindi rin siya pwede. So, ang pwede lang sa atin ay mga fraction, common fraction. So, paano natin siya gagawin? Pag common fraction kasi, kaya natin hanapin ang sum to infinity. As simple as a sub 1 over 1 minus r. Okay? Let's try to solve. Yan. 16, 64, 16, 4, 1. So, ang sabi natin kanina, ang a sub 1 natin ay 64. Ang R natin, dalawa lang yung hahanapin natin dito, which is 1 fourth. So, paano natin hahanapin ang sum to infinity? The sum to infinity is 64 over 1 minus 1 fourth. What is 1 minus 1? 64 is equals to 4 over 4. Chinage ko lang yung 1 into into fraction, minus one-fourth. So that will be 64 over three-fourths. 
Tama? 64 over 3 fourths. So, we have to multiply this and 64 gawin nating fraction. 64 over 1 times, since this is 3 fourths, babalik ta rin natin 4 over 3. What is 64 times 4? 64 times 4, that's 256 divided by 3. Kaya bang i-divide? Hindi. Eh, hindi kaya i-divide 256 over 3. Ito na yan. Tapos. Okay. Question? Wala na po. Let's have another one. Sum to infinity. Ang uh, in sum to infinity, dot, dot, dot yung dulo. Bas walang, dul, walang sinabing dulo. So, four, negative 4, four, negative 1, one, one fourth. So, sabi natin, our R is 1 fourth. Our N, our A sub 1 is negative 4. So, our sum to infinity is equals to Negative 4 over 1 minus 1 fourth. So that will become negative 4. So that will become 4 over 4 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths. So babalik tarin lang natin. Negative 4 over 1. Ginawa natin fraction times binaliktad ng 3 fourths, which is 4 thirds. So this is negative 16 over 3. So our sum to infinity is negative 16 over 3. Sinama ko lang to, ha para lang po alam nyo. Okay? Pero hindi, um, napakadalan yan lumabas. Pero para inform lang kayo, pagdating ng higher higher level, alam nyo po ang sum to infinity. Okay? But we are focused on our special cases at saka yung normal. Okay po? So any question about geometric sequence and arithmetic, ah, geometric sequence and geometric series at arithmetic series? Question po tayo. Hello po, may kausap pa po ako. May question pa po? Wala po. Sir. Wala, Wala po. po. So for you, para po sa inyo pong uh, sasagutan, ito po yon. Bibigay ko po. Ang sasagutan nyo po, ito. Activity, learning task 2, 1 and 2. At learning, learning task 3, solve. Okay. Learning task 2 for week 5. Nahalagay naman po sa module na week 5. Learning task 2, 1 at 2. At learning task 3, solve. May ibibigay rin po akong additional na sasagutan, which is find the sum of arithmetic sequence up to the indicated term. So this is the fifth term, 25, 18, 10, 10 12. 12. So hahanapin natin ang arithmetic, uh, arithmetic series gagamitin natin yung formula. At meron din ako ibibigay for geometric. Okay? So, ipopost ko po siya sa GC nyo para po inyong masagotan. Question so far? Wala na po? Wala na po. Okay po. So, start answering your um, ang inyo pong uh, Module, tatlong question lang yun nasa module. Then may bibigay po kong 10 uh, na sasagotan na bigay ko. So we'll be answering this on Saturday. We'll be checking this on Saturday. Saan po isusulat? Sa papel na po. Sa papel na po isusulat. Okay? Maliwanan po tayo sa papel. Okay po? So thank you very Sir. much. Sir. Po? With solution na po ulit. Yes po, with solution. Okay po. Solution. Okay po. Salamat po. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Thank you po.